Hi there, Johnny Moneto with World of Warships. Today, no replay, but it's about the uh, discussion that we had since Wargaming released uh, information about the roadmap for 2022. And one of the rather more discussed topics was the introduced or the announced changes to the economic system uh, aimed at uh, summer 2022. And there are quite a few of questions, and I do have questions myself to Wargaming, but um, let's, let's see if we can already rule out a little bit of uh, what we heard so far of some of the questions. And maybe because some people get very, very excited, maybe already calm down the discussion a little bit. Um, I'm not affiliated with Wargaming. I don't have any communication channels with their interior. Uh, I just get the same information as everybody else. And I'm deducting a little bit from my past experience with Wargaming from the long past and the just uh, not so long ago past. And uh, I take a little bit of what Wargaming employees announced, what they communicated, and from this we try to deduct uh, how it might look in the future. But it's, uh, it's uh, speculative because I think that Wargaming does not actually know exactly how it will look like as of right now themselves. So let's dive into uh, one thing uh, that was going on on the NA forum. Uh, there is a huge discussion and the, one of the new members of the Wargaming NA team, Askans, uh, has tried to um, make it a little bit clear of what's going to happen. It was announced that uh, the economic, chain, economic change will kind of separate camouflages from a uh, visual and uh, and uh, economic boosters and that also flag signals will be affected and here he made a picture uh, trying to um, um, make clear of what uh, well i don't know if it's wargaming's official view or if that is just his personal view he calls it unofficial so it might be his personal view uh, but maybe he has already some more information than we have and it gives us some indication of what's yet to come. So uh, we'll come back to that later. Uh, let's break it down what we're talking about. And let's start with what we're not talking about. And this is this section here. The combat flag signals are not mentioned at all. Um, these don't seem to be up for any change whatsoever. So I think we will keep all of these here uh, neatly where they are. The graphics might change, you never know, the user interface might change, they might modernize everything a little bit, but basically this will be the same as before. I don't expect any differences. I don't think that they will change the limit of eight flag signals and you can stack them and so on and so on and so on. So we're not talking about that part. We do talk about this part of the flag signals, however. Um, it was announced that these flag signals will be affected and that put a lot of question marks on uh, a lot of people's faces. So we do have economic flag signals here and we do have special flag signals here. Um, one of these flag signals already received some sort of change. That is this one here, India Bravo Terra 3 is, um, I don't know exactly when it happened, but just recently it happened that this is no longer available to receive in any form. So, um, I'm lucky I still have a good stock of that, but this is actually somewhat of an oddball uh, because all the other flag signals give positive values as a bonus. But this one gives a negative value because it reduces costs that you have. Uh, it's unique in that way because everything else is just increasing an, on what you have gathered and they add on top of that. But this one is the oddball, it reduces something and maybe that's the reason why Wargaming has said we will remove that one. And they have said they remove it. For the moment, they just said that they will not issue any new flag signals of this kind in any way. So it's, maybe it's, it, it has something to do with the roadmap uh, changes that we were just informed about. Okay, uh, another thing that we talk about most definitely is this section of the camouflages. Um, if you're watching this on a mobile device, probably it's not uh, readable, it's not uh, possible to see it, but if you watch it on a bigger screen, um, I have loaded a mod here which puts uh, the 
booster values of each camouflage on top. It superimposes it so that you can actually, well, for, for me as a user, it's easier to see which camouflage has which value. And this is actually maybe already the, the um, core of the change, why the changes are made, because as it was pointed out so far, um, a look of a camouflage was hard bound to the economic boosters that it possesses. You couldn't interchange the look and the boosters in any way. That was just hard coded. And it was up to Wargaming how they make it. And it could be that you would rather like to play with a camouflage that looks different, but you would have to like to have the boosters of something else, right? And so far, this is not possible. And with this announced changed, um, if they change it in that way, uh, it will be possible to separate the looks from the boosters, and therefore you can fashion the ship uh, in the way that you want it to look, while you can also have the economic boosters, uh, the, the ones that you want. All right? So this will be distinguished. One thing that um, is present now currently on all camouflages that was just recently unified, all camouflages possess this negative 3 plus 4 percent point uh, combat bonus. That's, um, that is this one here. Detectability range by C is reduced by minus 3% and dispersion of shells fired by enemies attacking your ship is increased by 4%. This is something that all camouflages now possess equally. The last ones to receive this unified uh, combat, signal, uh, combat boosts uh, were type 1 and type 2 here. Uh, they don't have any economic boost. That's why you don't see any values here. Um, but they receive those, so uh, we can rule those out. We can just skip any discussion of that. That will be probably put into some other part. It's most likely going to be something like if uh, the game will just look, do you have any camouflage mounted at all? In this case, you will automatically receive the two uh, combat bonuses. And if you don't have a camouflage mounted, then you will not receive them. But I don't think they will be made visible anymore in any way. Maybe just somewhere as an information. All right. Um, yeah, and for camouflages, the rest that you have, what you want to separate is the actual look with the combat values or the economic boosts, whatever uh, you have. So we rule out these two. We will completely ignore this in the future. And uh, I took this one, and I'm, I'm sorry, native English speakers, I, I don't even know. I don't know what it means, and I don't know how to properly pronounce it. Meritorious service? I'm sorry. Um, well, I took this one uh, not because I cannot pronounce it properly, but because it has the most um, different items that are actually modified. And here, uh, I think it's the only one, the only camouflage that also has this oddball, again, the reduction of something. Everything else has only plus, 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 but here you have minus. So maybe Wargaming will take this out the same way that they took out the India Bravo Terra 3 flag signal. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Uh, let's ignore that part and let's pretend this is no longer available and let's focus on these four. So you, once you split the looks from the economic boosters, um, you have basically these four items which can get boosted in any way. Sometimes uh, you have only one item or two or three, and sometimes you have all four of them. Um, and they can have different values depending on which currently camouflage, but let's call it a booster pack. So depending on which booster pack you have, uh, you will get different uh, values here. Some values can be zero, then it's not present. And I think the highest value is some 700, uh, 400 for the camouflages. Yeah, 400% for the camouflages, I think it is. But if you look at this credits per battle, XP per battle, commander XP, free XP, and you now, and this is a camouflage, if you now switch over to the flag signals like Leviathan, and you only look at these four, then you will see it's exactly the same. The values are different, but it's exactly the same. So if you, if you split the looks from the camouflages and just keep them as economic booster packs, then the camouflage values 
while the values themselves are different, but the, but the items are the same as what you have on the flex signals. So that would lead to the fact that if you keep everything as it is and just do the split from the visuals, then you would have the same thing in the game at two different parts of the game where you have to say, I want to have this or I want to have that. And from a user interaction design, that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense to have the same thing in the game at two different areas. So, um, it, so therefore, it's actually quite mandatory as soon as you split the visuals away from the camouflages and just keep the economic booster packs, then that you say, okay, we will unify the, the boosters from the camouflages and the boosters from the flag signals into one entity. We will make that one. We will keep the different booster packs, but we will put them on the same screen. And uh, I think this is nothing to worry about. Now, the next question and or the next concern was really, um, currently everything is stackable. And uh, we wonder if that will be the case in the future. And if we look at what you can actually stack if we go back a little bit there we go um, the amount of economic booster packs that you could currently stack we can count these these are five plus six is eleven plus two is thirteen right and then you have an additional one for the camouflage so you have kind of fourteen slots at the moment you can stack up to fourteen economic booster packs per battle at the same time. And the question is, will we be able to do that in the future as well? Nobody can answer that at the moment except Wargaming and maybe Wargaming hasn't figured that part out themselves yet, but that's, that's if they say that they don't wanna take anything away from the players and they don't wanna make the players have worse choices than they have now, then they would give you basically 14 slots for being able to stack economic booster packs inside, right? So that's that's what they that's kind of the promise that they have to fulfill now. Um, the another thing is actually what you what you should keep in mind is that you have some sort of restriction here, because you can slot exactly one booster pack which is associated currently with a camouflage. So you cannot possibly have this plus 200 percent and this plus 100 percent for the battle xp and and this is i think is free xp plus 200 percent you cannot combine these at the moment it's one of these and the same and something similar is here with the flex signals while you can have all the flex signals running at the same time you cannot have multiple flex signals of the same kind you cannot have uh, where is it? You cannot have, sorry, I'm jumping. You cannot have Leviathan, special flag signal, and then you say, I want to have 14 of those. That is not possible at the moment, but of course, with Wargaming now changing it a little bit, they could actually make this possible. They haven't promised any such thing. I'm just uh, telling you now that this would be some, some benefit for the player base that could well be incorporated into a future system. You can get rid of this restriction that it's only one type of, for example, Leviathan, uh, one Leviathan that you run in a battle, and you can say, why not run 14 Leviathan flag signals and get incredible amounts of, what, Commander XP and Free XP, or if you have any other favorites there, right? So maybe you can, maybe we get rid of this restriction. Maybe they will say, okay, uh, we get rid of that restriction, but in the same time, we reduce the amount of slots that you have because, you know, now you're more flexible and before you had 14 and maybe we reduce it to, I don't know, 10, 8, 6. So we will see how that will turn out. Yeah, but the, the more slots they take away from the players, the bigger the outcry of the player base will probably be. But maybe we get some something good out of it and maybe they will remove these restrictions that you can have only one of each kind mounted per battle at the same time. Um, there's something else that was 
asked, and that re uh, that's referring to permanent camouflages, how will that be transferred? And again, I don't know, there's no information, but actually that would be rather easiest to, easy to do from my point of view. That is actually almost a no-brainer. Um, currently, the default of a ship is to have no camouflage at all. So there's no visuals, that's the default visuals here. So it's only the gray normal skin and also no economic boosts. So um, that's the default, right? And as soon as you have a permanent camouflage, you would get a new default skin and you would get a new default economic boost pack installed on it. And that would be the new default then. So whenever you have nothing else mounted, it will refer to the default, which means referred vi uh, uh, default visuals and default economic boost pack. So for me, an absolute no brainer. And uh, if that is on a ship by ship basis, then everything will just remain the way it is, as it is right now. If you do have now, maybe they will lift off these restrictions, which I mentioned before, and maybe you're able to use the booster pack from your, from your permanent camouflage together with some other booster pack from some other former camouflages. We will see how that will go. Um, there's another thing I would like to, to tell you, just to broaden your mind a little bit. I came up with another model how this can be shaped in the future. And this is not even speculative. This is just an idea from myself. But this is just to show you that uh, we don't have to translate everything one to one. The current system into a new system it doesn't have to be completely translated one to one. And we just break up the visuals and the, and the rest and the, uh, and the boost packs. Um, we could also have another system where we say, okay, we have these four items, credits per battle, XP per battle, commander XP, free XP, and instead of having a boost pack and combining items and Wargaming always has to define these values, it could well be that we say, okay, instead of this, you earn actually percentage points for credits per battle. If you complete a mission, maybe that mission will give you 500 percentage points for credits per battle. And then you would have maybe such, such a system that you have these four items with some sliders here and you can set up the values that you want to boost uh, your economy for the next battle just by yourself. You can, do, you can choose whatever you like, total freedom of choice, just limited by the maximum amount of percentage points that you have accumulated so far. So instead of having predefined booster packs, you're actually only earning uh, the ability to boost individual items. And then it's up to you. Maybe you can even go all in. Maybe if you accumulated 30,000 percentage points to boost free XP, and you just put the slider all the way to the right. And on the next battle, whatever result you get, the free XP will be multiplied with the 30,000 percent booster right, which will lead to um, a meme worthy amount of free XP, most likely, but afterwards, your account will be depleted. So Wargaming has not indicated in any way that they will go with this kind of model. But this would also be a possibility. And to transfer uh, whatever you currently have in stock into this new model would be also very easy because you would just go through everything that you have. For example, every flag signal, um, how much uh, credit boosters you have, and then the amount of credit boosters that you have. And you just sum everything up and then you, you come to the total stock that, that you will have in the new system. So that would be very, very easy to also transfer to that. Um, that's just an idea. Wargaming might have also completely different ideas how they will refine that system in the future. Um, the first part that I talked about you saw was more or less a direct translation from what we have now into a new system where just the visuals are taken out of the equation and uh, are made um, uh, independent of the economic booster packs and then to have uh, economic flag signals on one part of the game and the, and the camouflage uh, economic boosts on a different part of the game doesn't make any sense anymore. So you just combine them and everything else will stay the same. Or you actually maybe translate 
it into a new system and we use something like this. And if this is available then on a global basis for you, you make the settings once and then it will be true for all the battles or if this can be distinguished per battle type or per ship tier or maybe even per ship that you can define uh, settings per ship. Uh, well, I'm not getting paid for this by Wargaming, so that's, that would be something they have to figure out themselves. Um, I, this is just to, to say that it could be also different, but it does not necessarily have to be worse than what we have now. So I think this is what, what uh, Askens was trying to tell us with this graphic. And uh, I added a little bit something to say maybe it's even something different. Maybe Wargaming will come up with a completely different solution. And in case somebody from Wargaming is watching and says, hey, that's actually a nifty idea, feel free to use that. I'm not claiming any copyright on this model. You can just use that. But if I see that you would use that kind of model, I reserve some bragging rights for the future. <laughs> yeah, that's it from my side. That's Johnny Mondeto. I hope that that would at least shed some light on some things. Again, a lot of it is speculative as we haven't received any detailed information. Um, it's still like uh, maybe four to five months to go and uh, for development team, four to five months, especially when it's something like this, that's still a lot of time. So I guess they're currently working out some, some basic idea or they have already worked out some basic idea where they want to go with this and now they try to work out the details how it can actually be translated into the game. We'll see what they come up with. Um, let's give them the benefit of the doubt because this is 2022 and they promised to change so maybe that's what they will do. Johnny Moneto, hope you have a good day. See you later. Bye-bye.